the reason of coming to Brazil is to connect with my brothers and sisters in the SIS region. Do you know that Africa is in the diaspora has been declared as the SIS region? Because Africa got the north, south, east, west and central. And our brothers and sisters that looks like me that are found in the new world are considered as Africans in the SIS region. And this is why I'm in Brazil. Someone will ask, what are you doing in Brazil? Then I need to also ask you. Did you know that Brazil got the largest black nation out of Africa? Or did you know that Brazil is the second largest black nation in the world behind Nigeria? But I must confess that I thought the only place to see black people in Brazil was Salvador Bahia. É ser descendente africano, ter todas as nossas características maravilhosas, não é só São Paulo. Não é só na Bahia, não é só no Rio. But on my way coming to Brazil, Sao Paulo was just to connect to the mecca of black people, which is Salvador Bahia, because I thought that is the only place to see black people. How does it feel being here? Lovely and amazing. You know, the funny thing about it, I'm seeing people, I look at the guy and say, there, that's my uncle. Everything. So now, you know, when we're back home in Ghana, where people come home, Blacks in the diaspora come home and they be like, oh my God, I feel like I'm seeing my relative, my uncle. The same thing is happening to me here. I'm saying, oh my God, that looks like my, my uncle, my aunt. <laughs> I was at the beach and I was telling her, she kept looking at me, I said, you know what, you are my auntie. Straight up, the blood is amazing, man. We're walking in the street and you see somebody and you be like, this person looks like my sister, man. <laughs> looks like my auntie, look like yeah, this is the city. <laughs> Indeed, indeed. Now, I need to agree with you all that indeed this is the blackest city out of Africa. But when I landed in Sao Paulo, I found something interesting that I could not keep this to myself, but rather share the story of Afro-Brazilians living in Sao Paulo with you all. Here in Brazil, we actually have like, most of our population is mm. black or are like darker than light. It's like it's not light skin. They call light skin mm. like, but it's it's like me. I am, I, I consider myself black mm. because like racist people call me black, so I am black, <laughs> right? I am still here at the economic powerhouse of Brazil. Welcome to Sao Paulo. My previous video that I uploaded, I saw people commenting that slavery was a fiction. I really want to ask you a question. How did our people get here? So he's, 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 he's Yoruba. Yeah, he's Yoruba. Uh, born in, uh, uh, born Bahia. in Bahia. Like, can you believe it? I, I'm just walking in the street and he started calling me, hey man, what's up? And I'm like, so you, you believe that you're from Nigeria? This is so cool, man. É, por parte de, de mãe eu sou Yorubá e por parte de pai eu sou Mandinga, okay. Mandinga people. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing, man. <laughs> Do you know any word in Yoruba? Oh, muitas. Ah. Akarajé, uh, Ekaro, o yeah. uh, que mais? Ah, no. Osun, oh, Esun. my goodness. So Akarajé is like Kose, in yeah. Ghana is Kose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is beautiful, man. You see, this is Africa represented right here yes. in Brazil, man. Yeah. So excited to see what's happening, man. So he said your video, your videos also motivates him to know his ancestors. He follows me. Yeah, he's a follower. <laughs> That's why he was able to recognize you. <laughs> really? Meu inglês não é tão tão bom. Meu espanhol é melhor que meu inglês. Mas é, aquilo que eu consigo pegar do vídeo dele, eu consigo aprender muita coisa. He's a fan. Yeah, he's a follower. <laughs> Not a robot. I'm shocked, man. I'm so, I'm so shocked. He's a fan. Wow. Yes. 
But no, I, now I feel like in my videos, I need to translate to Portuguese, man. Oh, so please, that, please, please, please. <laughs> I need, I need to, I need to get Portuguese, French, man. That's, that's. Wow. That's beautiful. Fala para ele que aqui tem uma comunidade de panafricanistas. Graças, ao, graças ao que o Marcos Garvey fez, yep. né, da pro povo preto na nação preta, a gente se reconhece também como africano. Yep. Mas para ele não se, não se enganar que existem muitas pessoas que se reconhecem como africanos e eu sou uma delas. It is so exciting to see that my brothers and sisters were taken out of Africa forcefully, but Africa never left them. To the extent that they are living in the new world, but they still know they are roots. Was you born in here? Nasci aqui, nascida no Brasil. Your mom and dad are all Brazilian? Minha mãe também é baiana, da Bahia. You know that you look like me? Sim, fomos trazidos à força, infelizmente. You know, we, have you been to Africa? Não, mas eu tenho interesse em conhecer algum dia. Well, what does she know about Africa? Quase nada, para falar nothing, a verdade. Nothing, almost nothing. No! A única coisa no. que eu sei... Tell, é que... tell her, tell her, Africa is the most beautiful continent in the whole world. É, é, o, é o, o pouco que eu sei, a cultura, é uma she cultura muito linda. She said that the little she knows about the culture, é um país muito legal, eu acho que é, a gente deveria respeitar mais a cultura do país africano que a gente acha. Do país não, do continente africano, que é um continente Africa, muito rico e as pessoas It's enxergam rich. só como se fosse a África um país e um lugar que é, tem muitos negros, mas é um país rico de cultura. Wow, that's amazing. Oh my goodness. I wish, I wish I speak Portuguese to be able to talk to her directly, because I have so many questions to ask her. You and I are African. African. Eu, so African. eu concordo porque a She gente foi trazido à força de lá. Okay. Okay. She said uh, people were taken out from there by force to here. So she believes, she, she agrees with you that we are, you, you, and, you and I are Africans. Right now? We are going to Iburapura Park. That's the famous park in Sao Paulo uh, where every Sunday you see people who are very busy at work and weekends they come there to rest with their families, uh, ride a bicycle and maybe take a walk with their dogs and all that. So as you can see in his previous videos, you see people walking with dogs. So that's what they do on Sundays there. And it's a very cool place to be. So we're finally in the park. Yeah. This is where you decided to bring us. Yes. As an African content creator, exploring South America, Brazil, Sao Paulo, I, I feel like I need to run for a position somewhere in Africa because I feel like things can be done easily, but I don't know why we have to go through so much stress to get things done. You see what is on my hand? This is a permit to be able to film in this park. And it took me less than one minute to get it. But anyway, this park makes me feel like, can we just start doing something like this in our various African countries? And especially Ghana, Accra, to be precise, man. Because I believe that when you live in a place like this, you're definitely gonna live long because this is a park. A park where you can exercise, a park where you can just come and sit, a park where you can just come sit here and then, I mean, breathe in fresh air. And don't let people lie to you because I am here and I'm seeing similarities between Africa and Africans in South America. The real indigenous of South America where they are Merindians, not Africans. Africans came here through slavery. If I am here, I need to prove to you that slavery really existed. Because I have been to various forts and castles that got dungeons where slaves were kept. This is the dungeon. This is where our ancestors spent months at a time. Brother, turn that light off, please. 
This was our reality. There was no electricity and hundreds, hundreds, more than 200, 300 women were in this dungeon at a time. So how can we say that this is a castle? This is your reality. This is my reality. This is the reality of our ancestors. And if I'm here, I need to visit a museum that proves to you that indeed, our people found themselves in this part of the world through slavery. This is a boat that brought a lot of Africans to Americas, and they've kept the history till today. So I, I, I am in the museum, and this is what I'm saying, because I've been to Benin, this is the gate of no return, right here, and these are the pictures that they are showing people over here. You see, this is the culture of Benin, representing in this museum, which shows that the people from here are from Africa. I love the fact that Africans that were taken out of Africa forcefully and found themselves in Americas still stick to their root, which makes me agree with Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's famous quote that I am African not because I was born in Africa, but because Africa was born in me. Maybe I guess I need to add my own quote to it that they left Africa forcefully, but Africa never left them. You know why? because the spirit of Africa still lives within them. Okay, he was set up as in, I asked her, what is she doing? What is that? Okay, she's asking for offerings, like help donate to support the Twins Fest, Twins Festival, because every September is the Twins in Tafu. Uh, Ghana, we call it in Tafu. Here is the, wow. the in Nigeria, we call it Beijis. They have, they have Twin Festival here. Exactly. We, I, have, we have Twin Festival in Accra. In Ghana. In, in Ghana, Africa, Tamen 10, Celebration de Beijis. Uh, it's uh, the, the Homoho Festival. Oh, so Homoho is Twins Festival. Yeah, so Homoho, the day for Homoho, it's like a day or two days or a week before Homoho, they celebrate Twin Festival. So my family is from Africa, like uh, my mother mm -hmm. was born there. And Your mother was born in Africa? Yeah, in South Africa. Oh, and, okay. and my grandfather is from Cabo Verde. Wow. Right? And so I was talking with the guys that, specifically with him, yeah. uh, that uh, it's like I am so curious about Africa. Like I saw in movies, all, all that I like see, I saw in movies. I, I want to see in, like in real life. In real life, and and the thing that makes me sad is like we have a lot of like movies that talk about different cultures from Europe, for example. But from Africa, we have like in Africa there is loads of like different. Uh, uh, pe people, different cultures, like, yeah, uh, and they don't show this like in TV, you know. And so, uh, I already like uh, <laughs> subscribe to your channel because I want to see more videos. You're like, definitely gonna see more videos from yeah. different part of Africa. Yeah, the Africa you don't see on TV. I, I believe that you want to know more about Africa, but you've never been there. Never. Wow. What 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 is that one country that you would love to go in Africa? I want to go to South Africa because my mom and Cabo Verde Cause, too. Because of your dad. And uh, I don't know. I like. Uh, I don't know. There are there are many countries that actually they they say there is one that you I I was looking at like internet and they say that you can walk with walk yeah. with lions. It's not walk because oh you can walk with lions. So yeah. if you go to. Um, Zimbabwe, 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 Zambia. Yeah. Uh, you can walk with lions, like yeah. more like um, in the car, and they like next to you. Uh, no, 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 no. Literally, literally, you, they will be in front of you, and then you'll be behind them, and then they walk with you. That's good. That that makes you feel like a king. In Brazil, we actually have like most of our population is mm. black or or like darker than like it's like it's not light skin they call light skin mm. like but it's it's like me i am i i consider myself black because mm. like racist people call me black so i am black right <laughs> yeah so uh so actually our population is 
the majority of our population is black. Wow. Uh, so you, you are going to see black people like a lot. by Pablo uh, to attend this event even though I don't know what kind of event that I am at the moment but I feel like I'm in Africa yeah man you're home what kind of event so we are in a event called Negritudes it's like an event to celebrate black culture here uh, made by the main TV station in Brazil yeah so half of our population in Brazil are offered to say this so we are Celebrating black culture. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Like if you look around me, it's like literally everyone in here. It's African, man. I, I wish I could go around to say hello to everybody. But yeah, I'm like a family. You know. Yeah. 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 Hi, man. Can I say hello? I love your hair, man. I love your hair too. <laughs> Nice to see. Wow. You know, how are you, brother? You look, you look like Diamond Platinum from Tanzania. He has an African tattoo. So South Africa here. Yeah. That's so beautiful, man. Nice to see you. So he's a travel blogger. Travel blogger. Please come to Brazil and travel to black places. I'm going to Salvador tomorrow. Ah, cool. The perfect place. Look, look at the Ghana Kente. Yeah, Kente, oh, yeah, all the time. Hi, hello. Okay, let's... Excuse me, no, please don't go away. Oh. Hi, how are you? I love your hair. Good. Are you from Ghana? This oh my goodness! Are you guys celebrating African culture in here? That's so beautiful, man. Oh my god, look at that! Are you from Ethiopia? Ethiopia, no? So you're from Ethiopia? No! I like her, I like her. She's wearing an African outfit. She looks so African today and she's looking so gorgeous. And I just want to tell you that Africa welcomes you. But she doesn't understand. Hi, thank you so much. You are so cute. Oh, thank you. And thanks for representing Africa. So a big kiss for the African countries and she hopes one day go there. Oh, <laughs> welcome to the it's motherland. It's my, my dream. Oh, oh. Yeah, Africa, Which country in Africa would you love to go? Angola, Mozambique. It seems it seems everyone wants to go to Angola, Mozambique. I love this man. Like, I mean, I, I feel like I'm in Africa right now because everyone surrounding me looks like me. Everyone is wearing the same outfit. Come on, if I knew that this is an event that I'm coming, I'd have put top and down, Afrocentric man, and just walk in here like a prince from Ghana. Agradeço e, e é muito bom assim ter essa identificação, sabe? Porque eu fui criada por uma família preta, entendeu? Que tem realmente 
muito, é, muita consciência de ser preta e muito orgulho de ser preta. Então, é, direto, realmente, eu sou da África porque eu sou afro-brasileira. Have, have you ever been to Africa before? Você já foi para a África alguma vez? Nunca tive a oportunidade, quero ir. Never had opportunity. Se vocês quiserem me levar, tô... Se alguém quiser me levar, pode ir. Não, eu... Se você casar com alguém da África, pode ir. Mary and take it to Africa. Ela, eu vou explicar, tá? Essa pessoa é fundadora da Escola de Samba de São Paulo, mais antiga e ainda ativa aqui em São Paulo. Chama Lava Pé. Então, ela fez para a liberdade crescer junto com os negros. Bandeira da Lava Pés, Escola de Samba, Samba School. É, from, 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 from Africa? Da África, yeah, né? Yeah. Yeah, from Africa, yeah. Wow! That's the founder of the Samba. The founder of Samba! Those people who enjoy Samba. <laughs> And just before I leave the street, there's only one question that was going through my mind. How are Afro-Brazilians treated in Brazil? Ah, aqui no Brasil, hum. bom, eu acho que é bem parecido com os Estados Unidos, né? Mas a grande questão aqui é que, para além do racismo, hum. existe a violência policial redobrada daqui, de, da quantidade de pessoas que, que, que se mata aqui no Brasil. Aquilo que os Estados Unidos está lá na frente, já está conversando, já está entendendo já sobre questões é, africanas, questões pretas, o Brasil ainda está começando a caminhar. Wow, unbelievable. I guess we need to have a conversation about how deep is racism in Brazil. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and be part of this awesome channel. Turn on your post notification as you follow our journeys through South America to the Caribbean. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.